The killer whale attack on a trainer at SeaWorld on Wednesday has many people in disbelief. So we wanted to know what safety precautions animal trainers at the Rio Grande Zoo in Albuquerque have in place. News 13 Sarah Warlick has the details. The Rio Grande Zoo in Albuquerque is a long way from Orlando, Florida. But the news of a trainer that was drowned by a killer whale hits close to home and has zoo officials asking questions. What are we doing? Are we doing it correctly? Should we change our procedures? Um, you, know, the, you know, animals are going to react uh, uh, oddly at different times, and so you want to make sure you're prepared for it. Lynn Tupa is the curator of mammals. She says they put distance between the animals and their caretakers. Our elephants here, uh, we do a protective contact. The keepers do not go in with the animals. Uh, they are always protected by uh, the barrier. Um, but that's not to say that the animal can't try to, to reach through and grab them. Tupa says the same precautions are taken with animals that are known to be a potential threat. These sea lions and seals might seem very playful and fun-loving, but Tupa says they take precautions with all their animals, no matter what their size. If it's got teeth, if it's got claws, if it's got a beak, it can hurt them. The animals can be unpredictable. Tupa says the animals usually give warning signs, though, and a keen eye can catch unusual behavior before the situation turns dangerous. But then again, there are no guarantees when it comes to wild animals. Sarah Warlick, KRQE News 13 this morning. Officials at the Rio Grande Zoo say it's hard to hear about a handler getting killed, but it does serve as a reminder that animals are risky business.